Hey everybody, Angela Johnson here. So welcome to this page for your event tips. Just for, search for the hashtag event magic and you'll find all my event tips that I am starting to deliver to you guys. I'm really excited about it. All right, so tip number one is all about how to fill your event with the right people. And so in the industry, we have this term, industry as in the coaching industry, <laughs> we have this term called get butts and seats, which I actually hate this term because it really denotes just get anybody with a pulse in the room. And a lot of live events are filled that way. What's always amazing to me is when people say, oh, my event sold out, but they sold out and they're giving free tickets away. Like that's not selling out. Like you actually didn't sell tickets. You're giving free tickets to your event. So there are a lot of you know, different quirks um, in, in the industry with live events and what they've been turned into. And so this is really addressing the top fear that people come to me with is how do I fill the room with the right people? Now there are a lot of strategies out there for get, getting butts and seats, you know, $97 tickets, refundable deposits. Now, if you're not familiar with what refundable deposits are, it's actually, it's a great strategy, but I think it's over being overdone. And so let me explain what that strategy is, and then I'll tell you what to do instead of that strategy. So having a refundable deposit for your event is when people say you know, pay maybe $97, maybe $197. You know, there are a couple of different price points that seem to be the hot numbers for these three day events. And so when you pay that deposit, when you show up to the event, you get that deposit back. And so it's a really great insurance policy for the event host to make sure that people show up. And so that deposit really needs to be something that entices people to actually show up. You know, if it's $50, um, a lot of people, you know, they don't care about $50 when it comes to maybe travel and time away from family. And so they'll, they maybe, you know, not show up to the event, even though that they've registered. And so as the event host, it's kind of like planning a big wedding. If people don't show up, you've got all this extra food that you paid for, and it can be kind of frustrating. And so this is one of the things that event hosts have been doing in the coaching arena. So I don't know that this strategy really exists in other places, other, you know, industries, but this is a really popular strategy that I've seen, especially over the last several years filling these really large you know a few hundred people and beyond you know these large three-day events for coaches so that's a really great get butts in seats strategy and I think it's being overdone and the other thing that happens is when people see this when I see this and a lot of my colleagues clients people that I talk to who love live events that have really actually not been going to live events because of this strategy, because it kind of is this big red flag of like, oh, basically I'm buying a ticket to be sold to for three days. Again, nothing wrong with that unless you want something different and unless you are really looking for a different type of an event. And so chances are you are either an event host or wanting to host your own event because you are also looking for something different. So you're in the right place. So let me address this fear of how do you fill the room with the right people? And the answer is unsexy, <laughs> but it's true. And when I tell my clients this, kind of roll their eyes because they really wanted a sexier answer. And especially for those of you who are just starting out, yes, you can fill your events without a huge email list, without a you know, really huge online presence. And it's this secret. It's super secret. So get ready. Talk to people. Pick up the phone and actually invite people. Shocking, right? And so, yes, you know, you can do Facebook ads. You can do all these really amazing online marketing strategies, which are fantastic. It's definitely a contribution. But building a relationship with people, inviting people, letting them know what's in it for them. Because as consumers, we have this really funny thing happening in the back of our brain all the time. And that funny thing that's happening is asking the question, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? And when people... Are, and that's not satisfied, when that's not answered, then they're not making a buying decision. They're kind of ho-humming, they're not really sure if they're gonna go, or whatever it is that you're presenting to them you know, as the buying opportunity. And so when you're inviting people, picking up the phone, yes, picking up the phone, no mass messages, please no mass texts or no mass you know, Facebook messages, that would, yeah, just don't, just say no. <laughs> but actually connecting with people. And one of my favorite ways to approach this conversation with people is when I get really clear on my event vision. And that's one of the first steps that you want to do as an event host is be super clear about what it is that you are creating. What are people going to walk away with? What's that transformation that's possible when people get in the room with you? When you are clear with that, when you are embodied with that, your excitement, your authenticity, your passion, like that is magnetic. And when you're talking to people and here's the conversation starter is, hey, Sue, I'm creating this event and I'm really excited about it because of X, Y, Z. And when I picture the type of people 
who I would love to see in that room. I keep seeing you. Now, this has got to be authentic. Now, don't just say this to everybody because, you know, oh, I heard this video on Facebook and she said to do this thing. No, this has got to be authentic because here's what that does is one, it's it just it really embodies the value of what you're doing and it clearly communicates the value to that person. And really, when you think about it, people just want to be seen, heard, acknowledged. And so when you are acknowledging that this could be a contribution to them, and then this is the important piece, this is the energy piece, is when you are leaning in and you're so excited and it feels like desperation, you've got to like relax, take a step back. Here's the information. I'd love to see you there and release all attachment to them going. Release all attachment. Just let it go. And so that is my number one tip to fill an event. And this is the unsexy truth because people would love to say, you know, that all these big fancy marketing strategies will fill their event as if by magic. And the magic part is actually connecting with people. It reminds me of a client who reached out to me a couple years ago and she called me in a panic. She said, oh my gosh, you just got off the phone with someone who fills these large events. And these were, you know, primarily the get butts and seats model. And he said, I have to have at least 10,000 people on my email list in order to fill an event with 100 people. And she was in the process of, of creating an event uh, for you know, 50 to 100 people. She said, is that true? And I've worked with this client for a few years. And so the information she was getting was very different. In fact, polar opposite of the information I was giving her. And I just started laughing when I heard this conversation. And here's why. is because I've never had 10,000 people on my email list. I filled hundreds of people, you know, or filled events with hundreds of people. And it's absolutely not true. It's, and now it might be true if you're really focusing on the get butts and seats model, but if you're a transformational entrepreneur and you're focusing on getting the right people in the room, then that, that you know, all those guru formulas, they just go right out the window. Now, here's the other thing that I want to that I want to highlight before I wrap up with this tip is I had a really huge epiphany. It was a few years ago when I was really hustling to fill my events with 200, 300 people because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. And when I stopped hustling and I stopped following the get butts and seats model and I increased my price for my events, I lowered the number of people. Guess what happened? I loved it and I made just as much money. So it's not about the quantity of people. Now, if you are, you've had this highly leveraged program, which you see at these, you know, three day events, and it's really about just get them in, get them through. And it's really no consideration about are the right people buying? Do I really actually want to work with these people? Like, is this a true fit? You know, as transformational entrepreneurs, we're asking ourselves different questions. It's not just about get them in, get them through. It's about, is this a fit? Is this a contribution? Does this feel good? I'm having fun. And you can have a bigger payday with fewer people because you get the right people in the room. So I'll be back with tip number two all about your content. I'll see you guys soon on this page. Again, remember, search for the hashtag event magic, and I'll see you soon.